For me, it feels like it pull everything down or out, but not in um. You can do it in different ways, you know. But this guy just—he's a contained mast. I don't know if you can call it negative irons or whatever, but when you when you touch him, you become one with that pulling it in. When you stand away from him, you, you feel the radiation he's sending out because his power point is centered in the middle. So the, 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 the feeling is also different if you're feeling him on a distance and just being in his aura or you, you literally connect and become one with him, then everything is pulled towards him. That's how it feels to me. So if I ask you if you've been here for long, it shows that he's been here a very long time. And I ask him if he has brothers, sisters anywhere in the world and he says that we are many. We are many places but we are deep within the earth. And actually he has sisters or brothers in the, in Romania also. That's pretty cool. And all around the world. It's not only exactly the entity form that he contains, but stones with the same vibration from the same place, if you can put it like that. So the, the family of which he belongs to. And the material he contains is not something you can find on, on, on sure ground. And he's happy to be seen and he's happy to be heard. I understand what they mean when they say the oxygen level is very high. Because you feel the feel the power in the water and it's not like normally when you have water the vitality is quite low when it's higher it becomes softer more flowing if there's too much resistance in the water it feels more masculine more massive more heavy this water <laughs> somehow feels masculine but it's pure so it's it's alive so it's not in a negative loaded uh, combination but it's filled with, with minerals and you can literally feel the crystallizations inside of the water that's quite remarkable i haven't felt that in water before and it's um even if it stands still it's regenerating itself constantly it's like it, it's it's keeping itself alive. It uh, in alive. It doesn't even need flowing for doing so. And that's really cool. <laughs> that's really cool. That's really cool. We have. We just have to make sure that we're not ruining it by all our diggings and stuff. That's that's important because the the purity in the water needs to stay pure and, and not start creating resistance. So we. We create negative intentions, like in in all the water we have. It's important that we we keep nursing it with love and respect for the structure that it has. The whole uh, the creation of the structures that's in this stone were created before the matter of this stone. So the matter in this stone are vibrating light lightlier. It feels heavier, but it's vibrating more lightly. So the um. When we created the universe and we wanted to create matter in order of, of transforming them from one planet system into another planet system, the, the matter and how we could do it energetically was much more compact. So the, the memories and the vibrations that one stone contained felt more massive than what we have created later on, basically. And what is linked to Earth is more actually more light in, in a form, in one form, but feels heavier in three-dimensional world. So that's more how you can explain it in a, in a longer version. <laughs>
So more earthly, more alien. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the structures in it though. <laughs> Look at it. It's like drawings. See? That's so cool. Dear. Like eyes and cat faces. Is it only me seeing it? <laughs> 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 This one feels much more wild than the other one. Like it contains a lot of memories. Mm, and emotionally I understand why they think it's linked to Lemurian because of, of um, the memories that somehow are triggered within people when they touch it. It is definitely vibrating differently than a normal stone and it contains memories which um, trigger emotionally level within people who are more sensitive. So this lady, because she was linked to the Lemurian people and she still had sorrow somewhere in her second chakra. Uh, so that ripped up that and it ripped up her memories from that time. And this is why she felt it. So it's, it's pretty cool. It helps people to go to where they need to heal inside. Some people will get scared, other people will understand the message. But I love the vibration of this one, it's really beautiful. <laughs> so, when I talk with the stone over there, it feels like a kid. It feels like a kid, they're still vibrating like an energy that's not yet awakened. But just waiting to come out of its shell. It's really beautiful. And within these tunnels there is this water flowing. And one thing is the water. But another thing is, is the beings around the water. I can literally feel the beings from the center of the earth. And how they are curious of what's going on. But also wanting to be heard. Wanting to show that they have created this world from the inside <laughs> and and it needs to be respect and be honored and it's good that we are using these this water to heal people they they actually are allowing us step by step to reach that level of consciousness because they believe that we are ready to have that but it's important for them that we keep it sacred that we we use it to help people. So if the wrong energy goes in with the wrong intentions, the, the creatures are feeling it. So sometimes they feel resistance on going any further. And it's just important that we are listening to that. Because when we come with pure intention, when we come for helping our people, helping our planet, they are open for it. And they are curious. <laughs> they are so cool. <laughs> They're very, very curious. They energetically... Um, if you want to look at them in a human structure, they are um, crawling, they have like on four legs kind of thing and and look more like an animal than a, a human. But if you see their eyes, their eyes are so bright, there's so much consciousness in them and, and so much knowledge. They've been here since the center of the earth was created. And it's so cool that we somehow are, are, are linking to these beings now in, in nature forms or energetic form, but it's really exciting. <laughs> it's just the, the, the beings when, when you are in silence and with an open heart, they want to come. When they hear this, they just run away. <laughs> It's showing me the same thing at the at some period. It's this war that was going on in this in this uh, time of the third civilization, which is linked to the caves. And when I ask what happened, it just shows me so much energy floating through and so much fear and and um, and hectical, like um, not like panic, but being in a rush. They were in a rush to cover this up, whatever this is. <laughs> so.
So on this level it was holding, keeping things, and that's actually funny. It's actually funny because it goes both ways. They were both scared of what was inside on a, on a deeper level because most of the tunnels was open in this civilization but some of them were still closed down and they were scared of an energy form that came out at the same time or in the same uh, time century they wanted to close it off also for people to not discover it because the people were not ready for it so it's both ways <laughs> that's pretty cool but the people, the civilization before this civilization had a higher knowledge. This civilization were lower in consciousness. And what I feel with this pillow is that even that you touch it, it's so light. It instantly brings me out in space. <laughs> and, um, and what it showed me, because I asked what it was doing here and it told about the magnified and the... Um, it's supposed to be linked with water also. So the magnif... Mag what do you call it? Magnificent? Magnify? Mag magnificent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, it's its purpose. And then it showed me where it comes from. And I don't know the name of, of the planet or whatever, but everything wor works there with magne magnific magne with magnet power. Um, and most of the material have similar vibration but some of them with plus iron some of them with negative iron um, and the constructions are very different at that place so you can say the beings who helped creating these things a long time ago did not come from the same vibration field that these stones come from but somehow they found out how to link it together energetically and but working together with the stones because this one knew its purpose here and it's okay with being on earth but it has been filled hidden for a long time and it is happy about the attentions that we bring to what's it um, some energies it has resistance on other energies it's, it's open for and and, and want to help so it, it can help a lot of people um, that's basically what the stone want to see <laughs> it explains more things one thing is it explains how it works and the, um, the inscription are also having a vibration and there should be more of the stones in here that has the writing on, right? And you can call it the keystone, like it explains how the, the moonlight should fall and how the water should flow and somehow explaining how they are connecting all of these moonlights in here which is not only in here, it's also under the heels and how it combines the pyramids. But it sounds really spacey, but it also um, feels as if it can create like a, I don't want to call it a spaceship, but like a, a tunnel in, in between time and space, but it's activated in an energetic way, so it's not like a spaceship that takes off, but but like a kind of a portal opening. I think that in these tunnels there should be three or four stones with inscriptions on. You hold both of them, you you can you can balance in the middle. <laughs> but if you only hold this, then then it it brings the energy like. Zoom, and it brings you up. So in the middle you are balance. So I guess the whole water thing was running in between or under or something and they were part of this magnify thing. I need to remember, I need to know how to say that word correctly. 
but this kind of stone uh, with this vibration there's a lot more of in here it has the similar vibration to some of the other monoliths you found but this thing tells us something needs to be activated for me this one is so soft soft? <laughs> yeah in, in my world good, good. It's so I just instantly feel so much love and care and, uh, for it, maybe. Actually, for it, it feels alive. It's like it is alive. It's reconnecting with, like, with the mother of the ship or something. So it's like we walk through. Um, we just was at, at two others and there was the the one I will call it the key and that was the one with the negative and this one is for me feels very positive. It's not like it's flying, it's also grounding, but it's just like the mother. I don't know exactly how else to explain it. And she's happy for people being here and curious and love that she can help she's conscious about what she sends out in a way mm, there's much she don't understand about humanity and she watches people as they come and go <sighs> the way they communicate and they store consciousness is completely different where she comes from and the way she see the whole human structure <laughs> it's very uh, dear to her but also very odd she understands what vibrations there is needed to clean a system she don't understand where the unalignments in these body systems come from so that makes her curious as she allow her frequency to enter into this human form, she kind of connect with their consciousness and through that she gets the the knowledge or something that she's curious about. So all these monoliths are communicating together. Normally they do it with the water flow because through water consciousness is running. <clears throat> but for, for ages they are being communicating together as as one team because together they are balanced when you separate them they are high energetic in one form or another but they are not doing their purpose they only stand alone and that's the beautiful things of everything when we are together it becomes one is <laughs> it goes exactly the same for these ones This one is already more balanced, actually. So one of the things I find really, really fascinating in these tunnels is uh, one thing is the stones and the and the energy in transcended from them. Another thing is these beings who are, are walking around here. But what I really find amazing and what I I love entering through is these level levels of air. Um, they built the tunnels so the air somehow can keep circulating in here and the air is so pure and there's so much oxygen in the air that even even someone like me <laughs> can feel how the air is just purifying everything inside of you. The air is, um, is pure, it's like water, just uh, of course another frequency and and it's unspoiled. There is there's no pollutions, there is no fear in the air, there's no emotionally memories in the air. Um, so it's just pure healing, pure flow, pure very, very high oxygen. I don't know if you can measure the oxygen in the air. <laughs> that sounds weird, no, but but it opens every send of it in yourself um, when you walk through it and it gives you a clear mind if you have worries or anything it literally opens these centers up as we are walking the tunnels uh, 
as I feel that there is emotions who are hitting me, but that is because of the memories within the vibrations who are still centered here, or the memories which are sent out from the stones or out from the creatures. But it air, the air itself, it's a pure flow. If we could measure the air here, and if we could somehow find a way to create this kind of purity outside of these tunnels, we would have the answer to so much healing on this planet. So I hope that we could do something like that. That would be amazing. <laughs>